Martha Tirop, I'm Assistant Secretary General, Tennis Kenya. But uh, for this tournament, I'm the tournament director for the ITF World Tours. It's been exciting, actually. It was our first time to host this, inter uh, this event in, the, in about very many years. So it's back on the calendar and it's been very exciting. It was tough at first to get the tournament on the calendar. But uh, now that it's been running, it's been quite exciting. My name is uh, Peter Joseph Washira Njuki. Uh, I'm a tennis coach. I've been coaching tennis for the last 40 years in Kenya. Well, I feel the tournament is good. It's a good exposure. The last time we had this tournament was 15 years ago. And uh, it, it uh, makes us to challenge ourselves as coaches to see the standards that which are in the world and what we're doing here right in the country. It has met our expectations and more because uh, at first when we started it was challenging because of the finances but now that we've seen the kind of exposure that uh, the Kenyan players are getting and in preparation for most of them for uh, all African games actually it has been worth it. Uh, tennis is not well known in the country and uh, last year it's when we started picking like we also won awards in Soya Awards and everything so at least the government they're building the courts for us in Kasarani so it's actually coming up from where it was if you compare before and after uh, right now I think it's it's growing yeah it's getting better um, I think the tournament was fantastic um, Besides for the fact um, that we didn't play that well this match, but otherwise it's an experience. We're still young. We have years to learn, to grow as players, and oh, <laughs> eventually we'll we'll get there. We'll get to the level. It's an over-18 tournament. We're still young, so yeah. Um, for me, I also felt that it was good. I played most of my matches, especially singles, because I'm a bit stronger in singles. I did better in singles than in doubles, but it was also a good experience for us to play doubles against older people and yeah. They've done beyond expectations because uh, first most of them were juniors. They are uh, under 18 years old and they've reached the uh, second round of this event. As you know, it's a senior event. It, is, it has older players, more experienced players, but they've put their best feet forward and they've done very well. Well, my biggest challenge is that we don't have these kinds of tournaments. So the more we have, the better for us because I can see our team is not doing very badly. Uh, actually, it has given them good consistent, good practice matches. I can judge who can be number one in my team, number two, number three, number four. So if we have more of these tournaments, then I think it will be very good for the nation of Kenya because also it shows Kenya as a general how far we are from the rest of the world. And I believe uh, we can be able to even improve as coaches. I was actually I was not expecting much from this tournament uh, because the surface we are using here and where we are going is very different but this was just to give my players a much experience uh, because they are going to play with the rest of Africa and most of the people, players uh, play WTA, the women event, as we don't have. So, uh, so it, will be, it was giving them a challenge that uh, they see themselves and know where they are, where they stand in the world. Are their standards up to the international level? Can they be able to challenge uh, other players from the rest of the world? 
or we, were, we combined all African Games training with this training, with this tournament, um, because this tournament was supposed to be like a warm up for us to play in all African Games. So it was good training. Before here, we were, we were training in aerobic club and we were just playing matches for us to be ready for mentally ready for the matches here and so far I can say it was good training and good preparation. I can't say we weren't prepared. Yeah. We've had very consistent uh, partners in the in tennis Kenya to support supporting the game of tennis. Government has been very supportive as uh, you know that uh, they are currently supporting even the Davis Cup team that is preparing for African Games out in Morocco at the moment. Uh, the government also is uh, supporting Tennis Kenya in building the tennis courts at Kasarani, which is underway. And yes, they supported most of our events. In terms of sponsorship, we've had uh, Pritam, we've had uh, supporting Kenya Open for a period of almost eight years. And we've, we have partners who sponsor, but we wish to have more partners coming on board. There's always room to put in more money because like for this uh, series, it's a transition event and you, you know very well even in other sports, not only tennis, that we have a challenge in transiting our juniors into the senior league and so if government put more money, we'd be looking at hosting more, of, uh, more weeks of this tournament for both men and the women. As you see the age here is between 14 and maybe 25 being the oldest, meaning it's an age where junior players are transiting into their professional tour. So we'd need maybe the government to put in so more money so that we can have more weeks throughout the year to have these events running for both the ladies and the men. Uh, we have uh, school programs so we like you can see the children playing here are from the schools. We have a national tennis program that uh, runs at Nairobi Club. We also are planning to go into the counties and uh, we have had some activations in the counties. But of course, you know, challenges is that uh, sport, unfortunately, is always given the smallest budgets. So we're struggling with those budgets. But yes, uh, the school tennis initiative that is run through schools for introduction of the game. And so, yes, they can always get in touch with Tennis Kenya. We are situated at uh, Nairobi Club. That's where the office is. Uh, support us, like uh, in allowance, in out clothes, and also, you know, in tennis, you need more experience. The more matches you play, the more you improve. So exposure, going out there, sponsor us for us to go out there and play more tournaments so that we improve and uh, we get higher ranking to perform even in even uh, the bigger tournaments. Generally in Kenya we have a lot of potential. It's not tapped. Actually the good players have not been found because I, I go to county. I'm, I'm, I'm the county coach. I go to start tennis in the counties and sometimes I just cry because there's a lot of raw talent up there. Nobody has tapped it. Uh, the county government is, is not interested uh, even though they're getting money from the government but we still have a lot to do. Uh, to me, we don't, have a, we don't have public tennis courts. We don't have a place where it's, we can say that kids can come and play without anybody asking for membership. That, that's my biggest dilemma. Uh, in all the places, the counties I go to visit, uh, you end up finding this, the school that has built up tennis courts, but we don't have a public facility in all the 47 counties. To me, which is not good for the development of the game. But if the government would venture in and put tennis courts in every county, have a centre in every county, then I think we can talk better because I believe we have a lot of talent in Kenya. There is a lot of potential in Kenya, so I believe that you can go very far. When you 